Hey everyone, how are you all doing today? Today I'm going to show you how to do the Sarah God Wars momentum method. I've been doing it a lot lately on live streams and also on a video and people have asked me how do you do it, how do you set up for it, what do you do, and today I decided to make a guide for you guys so you can do it too. I haven't seen a guide out on it already so I decided to make one myself. It's great magic XP per hour and it's also good profit. So let's get started. First, let's talk about gear. Now, you can bring any gear you want, whether it's offensive or defensive. You can use Virtus, a Rim, Sea Singer, Subjugation, whatever you want. I suggest using an offensive setup because you can kill more minions per hour, which in total gives you more XP per hour, gives you more drops per hour. So that's the best way to do it, I think. I'd rather use Virtus or Subjugation so I can hit higher and get stuff done quicker. So that's what I'm going to show you today, my offensive setups. Now you can use full Virtus or Subjugation, like I said, for offense. Make sure that you have the full set of Virtus or Subjugation, meaning the helm, the boots, the gloves, the top, and the bottom, so you can receive the 10% damage boost. It helps a lot. So whether you're using Virtus or Subjugation, make sure you have the full set. But anyways, here's the quick run through. I have full Virtus on right now, and you guys know that Virtus protects you from everything in the God Wars cave, so you do not need a Sarah item to protect you. So we have the Virtus helm, the top, the bottoms, the boots, the gloves, and then here comes the accessories, which you guys can alternate. I have a Wand of Treachery, which is the second best accurate wand. The Rims wand ties with it, or a Virtus wand is better. So you can use whatever wand you want, whatever is in your price range, as well as the book. I use a Tome of Frost because it supplies infinite water runes. Now, it doesn't really give you that much accuracy, as much as a Virtus book would, or a Rims book would, but I'd rather have the infinite water runes, so you can get a Tome of Frost from Dungeoneering, or you can buy a better book or a better orb and use that instead. It's all about your personal preference, what kind of money you have, and what you want to use. So that's that. Then for the ring, you can use really whatever you want as well. I use an Onyx Ring Eye because it's good for hybriding, and it pretty much doesn't decrease any of your crits. It's pretty decent. I'd rather use a Sears Ring Eye. That's probably a better bet, but I use Onyx Ring Eye just for a little bit more armor. And then I have a Demon Horn Necklace, which this is critical. This combines with the Bone Crusher so that you can get a lot of prayer from the minions when you kill them. So make sure you have a Demon Horn Necklace that you buy from Dungeoneering. And then lastly, we have a Cape which is my completionist cape. You can replace that with whatever you want. A magic cape such as a Zami, Guthix, or Sarah cape from the Mage Arena would do fine. And then the aura, which it really doesn't matter what aura you have. I would suggest getting Penance and Vampirism and possibly another one and you can switch them out during your trip. I usually bring Penance and Vampirism and switch them whenever they're ready. And then also here's the Subjugation. Look at it. When you use Subjugation, you don't have that all-around protection from everything in God Wars, so you're going to need to bring a Sarah Arrow to protect you from the Sarah monsters. So make sure you have a Sarah item to protect you when you're going there. And then here's full Subjugation with the same setup. And that's pretty much it for the gear. Subjugation isn't much worse than Virtus, so if you don't have the money for Virtus, don't think you need it. Subjugation works fine, and that's what I usually use. So those are the setups for the different types of gear you can use. Now let's move on to the inventory. Now for the inventory, you start off with a Bone Crusher, which I said combines with a Demon Horn Necklace to give you 50 prayer every time a bone is buried into the ground after you kill an opponent. So that helps a lot, that supplies your prayer a lot. Then you have your extra aura, whether it's Vampirism, Penance, whatever it may be. I have Penance equipped, so that's why I have Vampirism in my inventory. Whenever that runs out, I'll put this one on. Then you have your runes. I have Blood and Fire because I alternate with Blood Barrage, and I have a Tome of Frost to supply infinite water runes. So if you don't have a Tome of Frost, make sure you bring water runes or else you will not be able to Ice Barrage. Then you have some Winter Storage Scrolls to yak things back. You've got an extra yak pouch, which I'll go into the yak after this. You have a Trollheim tablet, so you can get to Trollheim and get to God Wars. You have some emergency food, just three rock tails, nothing big. You have four Super Restore Flasks, so you can replace this with Prayer Pots or whatever you want. And then you have your Overloads and your Prayer Renewals. These are the main things that you use within the trip, so you need a lot of them. Now let's move on to the Pack Yak setup. Now for the Yak, I keep emergency items at the top, which is four Rock Tails and two Super Restore Flasks. I rarely run out of prayer because of my Demon Horn and Bone Crusher combo, as well as my Penance Aura, but you can never be too safe. And as well for food, I don't get hit that hard, I don't really use food, and also the minions drop a lot of food, so you don't really have to worry about that. And then lastly, in your Yak, you want to put Overloads and Prayer Renewals. You can stack them like I did. You want to go one for one. So one Overload, one Prayer Renewal, one Overload, one Prayer Renewal. So that way you can just take it out of your Yak and you don't have to worry about having a mismatch of items. And then you have six Yak Pouches at the end so that you can just take one out and renew your Yak whenever it's low. And you can keep your trip going for a long time. So that is your inventory, your yak, and your gear. And lastly, and most importantly, I'm going to show you how to set up your magic spells. Now you want to be on Ancient Magics for this technique. You want to click on your magic book right here and click on the Fireball spell right here. 
and you're going to see Ice Barrage, which you're going to right click, and you're going to hit Auto Cast Ice Barrage, set as Main Hand. Then you're going to right click on your Blood Fire Barrage and hit Auto Cast, and then set as Off Hand. So what that does is when you activate Momentum, it's going to alternate between these two spells. The reason why you use Ice Barrage is because Sarah and the minions are weak to water spells, and then also you use Blood Fire Barrage because it heals you. So that's how the Momentum ability works. When you activate Momentum, it'll switch between Ice Barrage and Blood Barrage, doing damage and healing you at the same time. So that's why this method is efficient. Now that you have all of the gear, the magic spell setups, the inventory, and the yak, let's head over to God Wars and show you how it works. So when you get 40 kill count, head down to the boss room, and I highly suggest finding your own world to do this in. Yes, you can do an instance God War so no one can crash you, but that does require 200k every hour, and if you lobby, you lose that time and you have to rebuy another hour. So it does get complicated and it does add up over time after being here. So if you want to keep a little bit more profit in your pocket, then I definitely suggest finding your own world and sticking to it, because it does help out in the long run. But anyways, now that you're here, you should pot up, which is an overload first, then a prayer renewal like I have, and make sure that your momentum is on. It's this wolf icon right here. Click on momentum, and it will now say momentum is now active. That means you're ready to do this. And then you click on this door. If you're new to this whole door setup, if you want to start your own instance, you hit start a new session, and then OK when it says it will charge you 200k for one hour of time. But if you're just going into your own world, then you just hit enter boss room. I put on my quick prayers, which is soul split, torment, and protect item just in case. And you want to stand on this spot right here. Now it won't work right off the bat, and as you see, someone already tried to kill this one and left. But it won't work right off the bat because they are all over the place. But once it starts spawning, everything will run to you so you can heal off the maximum amount of minions. That's why you stand in this spot right here. If you have shadows on, you can tell where it is. It's right above this shadow right here, and you should be good to go. So basically all you have to do is keep your momentum on, and make sure that your prayer is up and that your health is high, and you can just pretty much AFK this boss. Now the reason why you do this is because it's very good magic XP per hour. All you have to do really is kill all the minions. They spawn multiple times while you kill Sarah, and that's where your XP comes from, is the minions pretty much. You get 1k after killing each of them, so that's a really good method to get magic XP up. It's really good for profit because you get the Sarah drops on top of it, and it's pretty easy to do and doesn't require much effort. So I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. I hope that you can do this on your own. I hope you make some good profit and get some good magic XP. And that's pretty much it. So once again, you want to have a book and a wand so you can dual cast Ice Barrage and Blood Barrage. That's a key thing right there. And you want to make sure that you have momentum active because that's what alternates between the two spells and allows you to hit them hard as well as heal off of them. So I hope this guide helped you out. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if it did. And I hope you guys get some good loot and some good magic XP, hopefully before this gets nerfed, if it even does get nerfed. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Later, everyone. Pull my heart out of my chest, train my mind so I forget. Sink your teeth into my bones, dig me out, then fill the hole. Tear me apart.